this is just a place to live. It's not the same. Before, you know, I was friends with everybody that was up in the cove. We'd run, you know, kids would run back and forth. I couldn't tell you who lives up in that cove anymore because most of them are renters. There's a few houses that are owned, but most of them are renters. <laughs> Laura Holcomb is a homeowner on the outskirts of Memphis, Tennessee. She is watching the character of her neighborhood change. Communities across the country are being transformed as houses built for homeowners are turned into rental properties. Since the financial crisis five years ago, homeownership is out of reach for an ever larger number of Americans. We had a lot of empty houses and they sat for a long time. They had foreclosures on them. And then suddenly you started seeing people coming in and buying them and then rent signs going up. Here in the Hillshire neighborhood of Memphis, Miss Holcomb's new neighbor is Carl Osborne. He rents the house a previous owner lived in until losing it in foreclosure. Yeah, you just make sure everything's working. If like a light bulb goes out, you change the light bulb. You take, you do basic maintenance, like mow the grass, edge, you know. But I wouldn't start dumping hundreds of dollars in the property because it's, in the long run, it's not gonna be yours. Mr. Osborne's house is managed by Memphis Invest, which buys properties across the city and renovates them as rentals. Mark Anderson is the company's director of renovations. We spoke to him at a recently acquired house being prepared for new tenants. The, the house is destined for two different people. One is the investor. Uh, most of our investors live out of state, uh, but they invest here in Memphis because the numbers, the numbers work for them, cash flow is good. Um, and then ultimately a tenant is going to move into this property. Uh, typically it's going to be a family because most of our houses are three bedrooms, two, pa uh, two baths with like a two car garage. As more and more families choose to rent rather than buy, it is private investors that are scooping up houses. Some homeowners we spoke to are concerned that the influx of rentals could drive down their property values. I mean, we don't control the market or we don't control the prices, but what we want to provide is a safe, uh, affordable, nice property. We're going to come in and spend on average around $20,000 and bring that property up to speed. We see it as improving neighborhoods, picking up uh, values, and that's the that's the goal for our investors. After all, they wouldn't be buying properties if the point is for properties to go lower in the long term. Still, homeowners aren't just worried about the value of their property. They're worried about the values of their community. My daughter's first steps were out here in this driveway with my neighbors watching and then coming over and, you know, sitting there saying, oh, she's walking, she's walking. She did it today. Nobody would run over. 